The income statement is one of the key financial statements used by investors. Why is the income statement important? Because it answers one of the most fundamental questions an investor can ask about a company. Is this company making any money? After a company raises capital in the form of debt or selling stock, it must now invest that money into assets that will create products and services that the company thinks people will want. Then go out into the world and sell those products to people that generate more cash. As it receives cash from its customers, it then has to pay its suppliers, employees, lenders, and vendors that help them create and sell those products. After the company has paid all these expenses, if the company has any money left over, it has generated a profit. The income statement at its most simplistic level tells us two things. How much money does the company bring in from selling its products and services? And how much money does the company pay out in the form of expenses to create those products and services? Hopefully, if the company is selling a high demand product and is also efficient in managing its costs, it should have money left over after paying for all its expenses. And this money left over we would call profit. The income statement is broken down into two main components. Revenues, which comes from selling its products and services, as well as income that's earned from interest or other investments that the company has made with its scarce capital, as well as expenses, which itemizes all of the costs the company has occurred for a period. These costs can be broken down into operating expenses, which are costs that are linked directly to a product or service that the company is selling, as well as non-operating expenses, which itemizes costs that are not directly linked to a specific product, but are costs that the company incurs as part of its normal course of business. When a company generates a profit, it has several options for what to do with that profit. It can put the money in the bank and save it for a rainy day in the future to use it to make investments in the product development, whether it's to hire more people, buy better equipment or technology, or it can pay the profit out to investors who own shares in the company. This payment is called a dividend. This profit that is recorded on the income statement is linked to another important financial statement called the balance sheet, and it's linked under a section called retained earnings, which resides in the shareholder's equity account. So as investors, we want to examine the income statement to gauge the level of additional cash flow that the company is generating, and also to see how effective management is in creating profit for its shareholders.